Hey everybody, I saw my friend Jeff from Kosher Catch the other day. He said, Rabbi, you gotta make this bluefish. I was like, bluefish? Yeah, he said, bluefish, it's fantastic, but you gotta make it right away. Take it, make it tonight. I said, all right, here we go. So what are you doing? He said, he said, broil it and put this and that. So I broiled it and I put this and that, and this is how it came out. Let's go see. I'm gonna work straight out of a bag when I make my tartar sauce because I wanna pipe them right into the container when I'm done. I have here some pickles that I made the brine for. Had them curing for a couple of weeks. They're really delicious, they're nice and sweet. They're perfect for tartar sauce. A little bit of lemon goes a long way to add some salt, add some lemon pepper. Now I'm going to mix it up. Tartar sauce is pretty simple. Got mayo, sweet pickles, little lemon, little salt, little lemon pepper. Mixing it up. Tartar sauce is done. But you know, I don't do things the normal way all the time. I like to experiment. So right now, I've got this batch of pickles, which I've had in a, in a brine, and I had it curing for a while. These are spicy. They're made with jalapenos. They're made with chili peppers. They're spicy, delicious. They're really, really good, and they light your mouth on fire. And what I want to do is I want to infuse some ginger, a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar, maybe even some good old Franks and really kick this up to make a, uh, I don't know what to call, maybe you can help me out, but I'm going to call it a spicy tartar sauce with an Asian twist. Let's see how it comes out. I'm going to be working inside this bag, easier to pipe it right out into my container afterwards. Time to add the mayo. I'm going to add some franks. Nice healthy splash. Add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Just a little bit. Always use low sodium soy sauce. I'm gonna add a splash. Now I'm gonna add my spicy pickle relish. I'm gonna add some lemon pepper. Secret ingredient, pickled ginger. This is my secret ingredient to pickled ginger. I guess it's not a secret anymore. <laughs> okay, I've got all my ingredients in here. I've got the mayo, I've got the spicy pickles, I've got lemon pepper, I've got my special ingredient, the ginger, a little bit of rice wine vinegar, a little bit of soy sauce, nice splash of franks. Can't wait to taste it. First, got to mix it up. Let's give it a smell. It smells really good. I can't wait to try it. See, I just pinched the end there, so it's not too much. Then I give it a snip. Now I've got a nice hole right there, right in. Perfect right there. This is my uh, spicy tartar sauce with an Asian twist. It's absolutely delicious. I just tried it. 
I can't wait to have this with the fresh fish and chips right out of the water. Got my tartar sauce here. I just tried it. It's lemony, zesty, delicious. This is gonna be fantastic. Tartar sauce. Spicy tartar sauce with an Asian twist. For the broiled bluefish, I'm going to make an aioli with mayonnaise, garlic, a little bit of brown mustard, some a little bit of olive oil, and the juice of one lemon wedge. It's really going to be tangy from the lemon. The mustard's going to bounce out the mayo a little bit. The garlic's going to come in there and give it some great flavor. I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to marinate in this for about two hours. You can do it for about four hours too. I'm going to do it for about two hours just to give it time for everything to come together. And then I'm going to prepare some thinly sliced lemon and butter to put it on it for when I put it under the broiler. Now these lemon wedges, they're, they're not just there for show, they do make it look pretty. They're actually gonna provide some nice tang and some flavor too. That lemon is beautiful with the bluefish. And then I'm gonna slice my butter nice and thin. I don't want it to be overpowering, but I wanna have some of that buttery texture and flavor in on this fish. And it's gonna broil right on top of it and it's gonna melt right into the fish. I'm gonna lay out my lemons in a bit of a pattern because they're gonna look pretty at the end of this and when you plate it, you want it to look a little pretty and I'm gonna put on those thin slices of butter. I've got a low broil broiling here. The flames, you can see them. They're ready to help me make a delicious piece of fish. As you can see, I've got the mixture laid out over the fish. I've got the fish on a broiling pan and it's just getting ready to go into the oven. Looks like we've got some time on our hands. The, the fish is gonna take six to eight minutes. What's the best thing you can do when you have some time on your hands? You can learn something. So it's time for a lesson. Let's have a lesson, a quick lesson. You know, the Jewish people are actually compared to many, many things. And one of those things is actually fish. The Jewish people are compared to fish. Why are Jewish people compared to fish? <laughs> What's going on? Are we swimming around or something like that? <laughs> so there's a story, a Talmudic story, about a fox and a fish, actually. And a fox and a fish, and they meet each other on the side of the river banks. And the fox says, hey, fish, you're not safe in there. There's fishermen everywhere. They're coming to get you. They're coming to get you. And the fish looks up and says, oh, yeah, what am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? And the fox says to the fish, you just, Come on up here, I'm, I'll protect you. Come on, come on, I'll protect you. And the fish is like, man, you're not gonna protect me from anything, you're trying to get me. <laughs> so obviously the fish knew that coming out of the water is a death sentence for that fish. That's why the Jewish people are compared to fish. It's because the water, that's our heritage, that's our values, that's our Torah, that's our history, that's everything. And a Jew that doesn't understand all that, that's not swimming around in our heritage, in our history, our values, in our culture, yeah, it could mean the end. It could mean the end. I mean, it's, it's a lot rarer for it not to mean the end than it is to mean the end. So you have some time to learn. Learn something. Embrace our culture. Embrace our heritage. Be like the fish in the water and swim. Swim in Judaism, and then our future's very, very bright. Okay, I think that's a that's a really quick lesson. Let's get back and check on our fish. Six to eight minutes or so, I put it under the broiler. I checked on it a few times, I really didn't have to, but you take a look at it, the fish is firmed up, but it's soft, and it's just delicious looking. It smells great. The lemon really is coming out of it, you can, you can smell it. And the mixture, the aioli, is really giving it a nice, nice texture. I've garnished my plate with some delicious avocado tomato and a sweet potato mash, making this a really healthy dish. At the end of the day, when it comes out and it's on the plate, I'm going to throw some little bit of sea salt and some fresh cracked pepper right on top of this with a little bit of olive oil on my vegetables. I'm happy. It looks delicious. I'm ready to eat!
I added both tartar sauces, the spicy-ish Asian one and the classic. Both of these tartar sauces are delicious with this fish. That bluefish was amazing. <laughs> it was soft. It had that broil on top. The lemon just gave it so much nice flavor. And it went really well. You saw it had a side of sweet mashed potato, a little bit of avocado, a little bit of tomato. Really delicious stuff. We put it together. Super healthy meal. Super fast meal. Once you have the bluefish ready to go in the oven, the broiler, it was six to eight minutes. No big deal. Really easy. Really delicious. Really healthy. And I want to do it again. <laughs> Very soon. That was really good. So thanks to my friend Jeff and Kosher Catch for the, the fish and the recommendation. I hope everybody at home gives that a try because that was a great dinner. Thank you for joining us on The Rabbi Cooks. <laughs> if you like what you see here on The Rabbi Cooks, then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Everybody should know what we're doing here at The Rabbi Cooks. Let's learn something together. Let's eat great food. Let's meet amazing people. Let's do it together. So please share and like and eat delicious food with amazing people while discussing incredible ideas. <laughs>